live in studio with the recap, Jeff. A lot of the issues we saw Monday night in Dallas, we yep. saw again today the penalties, the defense, play calling, lots of mistakes today. Nick Sirianni's throwing his headset, he's screaming at the refs, the Eagles coach as frustrated as every Eagles fan out there. The mistakes maddening again today. Three touchdowns are taken away due to penalties. Big Red back in Philadelphia. Andy Reid returning for the first time in eight years. We pick it up. Eagles down four to the Chiefs. End of the first. Jalen Hurts to Dallas Goddard. What a catch. Eagles retake the lead. They're up three. Then four to go in the half. Down four. Hurts back to Goddard. Another touchdown. He barrels himself into the end zone, but it comes back. Andre Dillard called for his third penalty of the game. Yeah, penalties an issue again. They have the most in team history to start a season. It's just the start of it. Third quarter, down eight, crazy sequence. Fourth and goal, Zach Ertz gets in for a touchdown, but this comes back because J.J. Ortega, white side, called for offensive pass interference. Sirianni, yeah, losing it. Three Eagles touchdowns coming off the board. Thanks to flags, they settle for a field goal. It's not enough with the defense giving up points left and right, especially on third down. Patrick Mahomes, five touchdowns, three to Tyreek Hill. Eagles lose their third straight, 42-30. Jamie Apote has more. Jeff, the truth is with four fifths of the starting offensive line out of this game, the Eagles were actually better than I thought they'd be. However, 44 penalties in four games, nine today. Yeah, that all adds up to an ugly one and three start. Jalen Hurts said there are no moral victories, but this one does hurt. That's for sure. We're clearly not there as a football team because we're, you know, we've lost, but we're this close. You're upset. You're 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 furious that you, you go to one and three. The self-inflicted wounds have to stop. No matter like losing, so I feel the same way. After one loss, then I feel it with three. We just trying to you know get in that win column, man. It's early, but we got to get it right. There was a bit of history made here today with the win. Andy Reid became the first head coach in NFL history to win 100 games with two different franchises: 140 with the Birds, 100 with the Chiefs. Fitting, he did it right here in Philadelphia. I mean, it's great. I mean, the people here have been phenomenal since I got here. I, they, my room was loaded with food. It's good to be back and then doing that here. I, I hadn't really thought about it that. I don't know if that's a positive thing, but it, it's I'm glad it, it took place. At the link, Jamie Pody, Channel 6 Action News. And Reed celebrated with a cheesesteak. Well, we have a lot to digest, a lot to talk about tonight after this. The penalties, the red zone, the D Sports Sunday at 1135. Deuces and Jaws are standing by. Baseball, the Phillies are already making big changes after missing the playoffs. The Phillies are firing both their hitting coach and infield coach, hitting in defense, among many issues for the Phils. Bryce Harper, he is ready for a change, already with a new haircut in Miami for the finale. Harper, he wants to be back. He loves it here. But he doesn't know if Andrew McCutcheon will return. McCutcheon, what could be his final game, hits the game time two or homer in the third. But very next inning, Hector Neris. You know where it's going. He gives it right back. Nick Fortez, a two-run pinch hit homer. Phillies lose the finale 5-4. Afterwards, Harper doesn't hold back. He wants changes from the ground up. We can't just keep going out and, and buying and buying and buying. Um, we need homegrown talent. We need our minor leagues to be better. We need guys to, to come up from the minor leagues and have success. We need dogs, man. <laughs> I tell you what, we need some dogs. We need some guys that can you know come in every single day and play. The Union running, playing against Columbus, and they get off on the right foot today, and they keep it going. 89th minute, we pick it up. Leon Flock, his first MLS goal. Got it. Union win 3-0. They're unbeaten in their last four matches, so the Union right now going one way, the Eagles going the other. We'll talk about it more on Sports Sunday. Hopefully that changes for the Eagles. All right. Thank you, Jeff.